Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Hi, my friends. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. It's me, Mr. Pete. <laughs> I am so excited that you are here to join us today because today we are going to the beach. <laughs> are you excited to go to the beach? You are? Great, then let's go. A beach is a strip of land that borders oceans, sea, lakes, or rivers. It usually consists of sand, gravel, or pebbles. People often use beaches as a place to swim, to spend time with their family, or to just relax. Some of the most popular beaches are found in tropical locations, like the Caribbean. <laughs> they have white sand and warm water from the ocean. The ocean is a huge body of salt water that covers 70% of the world. And today, we're going to explore it. <laughs> but first, let us get our backpack to pack all of the supplies that we will need to go to the beach. Let's pack our backpack to go to the beach. Can you help me pack the things that I'll need? Great. Which of these items do you think I should not take? A towel, hiking boots, or sunscreen? That's right. A towel will keep me dry and sunscreen will protect me from the sun. I'll need to wear water shoes instead of hiking boots, so I'll leave those at home. Thank you. Which of these items do you think I should not take? My underwater camera, a fan, or a mirror? That's right. My underwater camera will allow me to take pictures underwater. I'm not going to need a mirror, and there's probably no need for a fan at the beach, so I won't be taking those. Thank you. Which of these items do you think I should not take? Snacks, sunglasses, or a diamond ring? That's right. Snacks are needed for when I get hungry, and my sunglasses can protect my eyes from the bright sun. A diamond ring may get lost, so I'll leave it at home. Thanks so much for all your help. Hello, Lifeguard Pete here. So I understand that you're going to go to the beach today. Well, before you go, let me tell you a few important tips that you need to keep safe. Number one, always obey the beach safety flags. A green flag means that it's okay for you to swim. A yellow flag means that you need to be very careful while you're swimming. And a red flag means that it's not safe for you to swim or even get near the water. And two red flag means that the beach is closed. Tip two, always wear flotation devices. You should always wear a life jacket or any kind of flotation device even if you're just walking into the water or the water comes up to your knees or your waist. You never know when an unexpected wave can knock you over. It's important that you wear your flotation devices so that you can stay above the water. Tip three, only swim in safe areas. Not all areas of the beach is safe for kids to splash or swim in. Always swim where an adult 
or a lifeguard, like Lifeguard Pete, can see you. That way, there is help available if something should go wrong. So, there are many other safety rules, but if you follow these three important rules, you are sure to be safe at the beach. So, look out for your lifeguard and have fun. Oh, I think we're ready to go to the beach. We got our backpack packed with all of our beach supplies and we just received our safety tips. So, we are ready. Let's go. Splish Splash. is the best place to be exploring the ocean shore to see what we can see the little crabs go crawling by click 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 clam shells go open and close snap 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 run to the water splish splash jump in the water splish splash swim in the water splish splash go into the beach run to the water splish splash jump in the water splish splash swim in the water splish splash a fun day at the beach down at the beach is the best place to be Exploring the ocean shore to see what we can see My school of fish go swimming by Swish, swish, swish Dolphins playing in the waves Jump, jump, jump Run to the water splish Splash, jump in the water splish Splash, swim in the water splish Splash, go into the beach Run to the water splish Splash, jump in the water splish Splash, swim in the water splish Splash a fun day at the beach La 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 Run to the water splish Splash jump in the water splish Splash swim in the water splish Splash go into the beach Run to the water splish, splash, jump in the water splish, splash, swim in the water splish, splash a fun day at the beach. Run to the water splish, splash, jump in the water splish, splash, swim in the water splish, splash, go into the beach. Run to the water splish, splash, jump in the water splish, splash, swim in the water splish, splash a fun day at the beach. Oh, my friends, we are finally here at the beach. There is so much to do. What do you think we should do first? Hmm, let's make a sandcastle. Or let's search for seashells. Ah, I have an idea. Let's make our very own seashells. Come on. Get your supplies ready for Mr. Pete's projects. Today we are making paper seashells. The materials you will need are a safe scissors, glue, markers or crayons, and paper. The first thing you will do is fold our paper in half hamburger style. Then, starting from the folded side, we're going to draw our shell. Think of it as a big tree. Then, we will draw lines or dots to decorate the shell from the top to the bottom. Next, we will use our scissors to safely cut out the shell along the lines. You can also draw the eyes and a nice smile to make it a happy shell. Next, we will fold the top corners of the shell and cut a line halfway down the middle from the bottom. Use your glue to glue one side of the shell to the top of the other, 
and do the same to the back as well. This will allow your shell to pop up. And there you have it, my friends, your very own paper shells. Great job. There are over 1 million different types of plants and animals in the ocean. And the deeper you go, the more you can find. Animals like whales and jellyfish, squid, octopuses, seahorses, and of course, strange looking fish are found deep down in the ocean. The only way for us humans to discover them is to go in a submarine. Let's take a ride in my red submarine to see what deep sea animals we can find. Red Submarine Hi friends, are you ready to jump in my red submarine? I see a seahorse, I see an eel, I see an octopus smile at me, I see a blue whale so gentle and kind, I see a stingray gliding by. Oh, I love to see all the animals down in the deep blue sea in my red submarine. Let's go! I see a turtle, I see a seal, I see sharks swim right to me, I see jellyfish, they look like small balloons. that sound means right we just got a text let's see who it's from it's from our friend Jeremiah let's see what he says Jeremiah writes hi mr. Pete my family and I love to go to the beach we bring food and spend all day swimming from morning until night when it's time for us to leave we walk the beach and pick up all the trash that's left behind Sometimes I get really upset because there's so much trash from other people. This can harm the fish. When I'm done though, I feel great knowing that I help to keep the beach clean and the animals safe. Protecting our oceans is an important thing to do. It provides us with food, proper climate and weather, and also offers us space for fun and relaxation. But we really take the ocean for granted by littering plastic, which ends up in our oceans and harming sea life. We need clean and healthy oceans for our own survival. Here are some ways that you can help to keep the beaches clean. You can do a local beach cleanup, reduce, reuse, and recycle, and most importantly, reduce the use of plastic, especially plastic bags on the beaches. Some of my friends sent me some pictures of them enjoying their clean beaches in their community. Let's take a look.
Mr. Pete's final thoughts. Oh, my friends, that is it for us today. I hope you had as much fun as I did going to the beach. Today we learn all about the supplies that we need and don't need to take to the beach. We also got some safety tips from lifeguard Pete, made paper shells for our art project, and learn about what we can do to keep the ocean clean. We also had so much fun singing about the beach and finding new animals in our red submarine. <laughs> The ocean needs us to keep it safe and clean just as much as we need it to survive. So please, let us do our part to protect it so that we can enjoy it and all the gifts it provides us for many, many years to come. Remember to always find music in the noise to love yourself and I love you. I'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye! Hi my friends, there's so many ways for you to keep up with me. You can find me on Amazon and Roku apps and also follow me on my social media pages like Facebook and Instagram. And now you can stream my songs on Apple Music and Spotify and invite me to have fun with you at your birthday parties. Don't forget to get your Mr. Pete's merch at mppmerch.com.